Hi everyone and welcome to PsyQ. Today we're going to talk about gun control and part of me is like guns, that's not really a science issue. But there's been so much research into guns and why we have a huge problem with violence in the United States and today I wanted to present that research to you. Science is just a way for us to understand the world. So when we say statements like, America doesn't have a gun problem, it has a mental health problem, we can actually do research and experiments to help check if that statement is true. So here's what we do know from extensive research, and by the way, all of the links and sources for this information are in the description, so please check them out yourselves. The things that we know are, one, America has way more guns per person than any other country in the world. And two, America has way more gun violence than any other country in the world. Now, that doesn't show that the guns are causing the violence. That just shows that there's two things. They may or may not be connected. But let's have a look at some other connections. A lot of people have speculated that America doesn't have a gun problem. It has a mental health problem. But the evidence doesn't suggest or even indicate that America has a monopoly on mental health issues. Every country in the world reports mental health problems, and America, whilst the highest, isn't significantly higher than any other country. In any one year, about 27% of the adult American population will experience what the World Health Organization calls a mental health issue. That covers a whole range of mental health issues, but the ones we're interested in are mood disorders like bipolar and depression. And those affect about 1 in 10 or 10% 10 of the adult American population. The average American has about a 50-50 chance of experiencing a mental health issue in their lifetime. But how does that compare to other countries? That 27% is the highest in the world, but countries like Ukraine, New Zealand and France, other first world countries, are not far behind. They're all around the 20% mark. So what the stats show us is that basically every country has a mental health problem, but America is the only country that has both a mental health problem and a huge prevalence of guns. So given these statistics, I don't know why people would say, hey, you have a 1 in 10 chance of having a mood disorder this year, but here, have a gun with like no background checks, no licensing, and no training of any kind. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's pretty obvious where this is going to end. I mean, people are going to kill other people, and they're also going to kill themselves. Again, we have the statistics to show this. In 2012, in America, there were 1.2 million violent crimes, crimes like armed robbery and rape, crimes where you might have wanted to have a gun to defend yourself. And yet, there were only 259 justifiable homicides, incidences where people used a gun to kill their attacker. So 1.2 million violent crimes and only 259 times where a gun helped you defend yourself. In addition, there was 20,666 suicides with a gun, which means you are far, far more likely to use the gun on yourself than you are to use it on an attacker. There were also 548 accidental fatal shootings, which means you're way more likely to accidentally kill a friend or family member than you are to kill someone who's trying to attack you. So that's what the stats show. A final note is that in this country, we recognize that driving a car is something that is dangerous, and so we require testing and licensing before we allow people to operate a car. Yet we don't do that for guns. That makes no sense. Now, science can't solve this problem, but science can point to the source of the problem. And what the research and statistics suggest is that the problem in America is that there's way too many guns that are way too accessible in the hands of people with far too little training and in the hands of people who have a 1 in 10 chance of experiencing a mood disorder in any one year. More funding for mental health care is always welcome, but cutting down the number and availability of guns is the only serious way to solve the problem with mass shootings in the United States. Any claims to the contrary are showing a willful and dangerous ignorance of the statistics that are freely available. All the sources and links are in the description. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.